Hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you getting a little too close there. But uh, oh, whatever. So I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x squared. Now, we need to kind of remember, what is all the squaring really going to do? So I need to simplify this. That means I'm going to um, need to follow out the operation that it's having. So let's just go back with a quick little review here. If I have x squared, what that represents is x times x. So if I have x plus y squared, we need to remember that that is going to give us, that's a perfect square trinomial, leaving us with x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So I'm going to follow, since I'm dealing with a binomial squared, I'm going to follow this operation. Now, we could also kind of work it slower by using different multiplication techniques. We could write this by you know, using the FOIL method and so forth. But hopefully, we've already had a little practice with that. So I'm just going to kind of follow this pattern to kind of quickly go through it. So therefore, remember, I can rewrite this as sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x times sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. All right? And that's the main important thing that I'm even going to take extra time to rewrite, just so you guys remember, oh, I have to multiply this by itself. Now again, you could apply the FOIL method first, outer, um, inner, last. But however, like I said, I just want to apply what am I per, uh, representing multiplying it per, by a perfect square. So therefore, I'm going to have sine squared times sine squared. OK. Sine squared times sine squared is going to give me sine to the fourth of x plus 2 cosine squared of x sine squared of x time or plus cosine to the fourth of x. OK, Whew. now to go ahead and simplify this. So one thing that we can always work into uh, as far as simplifying this is seeing how I, um, first of all, I can't combine any further. But let's see if we can rewrite this in terms of either sines or cosines. So let's, uh, let's go back to our uh, Pythagorean identities. And we can see that cosine of our sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So therefore, we can simply uh, you know, solve for cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rewrite everything in terms of cosine. And that's just going to be my way to simplify it. You could either do sine, simplify everything in terms of sine, or in terms of cosine. This is a very kind of open problem. So if I was going to rewrite everything in terms of um, cosine, well, first of all, let's just kind of let's rewrite our uh, cosine squared here. So I have sine to the fourth of x plus 2. And then rather than writing it as a cosine, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn everything in terms of sine. So rather than terming of a cosine, I'm now going to rewrite it as 1 minus sine squared of x times sine squared of x plus, let's write this as cosine squared of x times uh, cosine squared of x. So therefore, um, sine squared, sine to the fourth is still going to remain there. Plus, we can distribute this over. So I'm going to have 2 minus 2 sine squared of x times sine squared of x. And then I could have um, cosine squared times cosine squared, which would be 1 minus sine squared squared. All right. So oh, this needs to be multiplied by sine of x squared. So therefore, by multiplying this through, I get sine to the fourth of x. Uh, plus 2 sine squared of x. And then here is going to be a negative 2. I guess I forgot to put the s. Negative 2 sine to the fourth of x plus 1 minus sine squared um, to the um, squared. So again, I can use that my perfect square trinomial, which is going to represent uh, 1 squared minus 2 sine squared. Uh, plus sine to the fourth of x. OK. So now let's just go and uh, combine our like terms. Well, we see that we have a sine to the fourth, another sine to the fourth, and a third sine to the fourth. So therefore, we could have sine to the fourth plus, m minus 2 sine fourth is going to be a negative sine to the fourth, plus sine to the fourth is now actually going to eliminate all my sines to the fourth. So therefore, these are all going to 
add and subtract up to 0. Then I have 2 sine squared minus 2 sine squared. Well, that's going to subtract down to 0. And it's just going to leave me with a final answer of 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify by multiplying trigonometric um, expression. Thanks.